Okay, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> but I still, you know, I, I still don't know if it's because I don't have a job out there yet. I don't have anything. So I'm not trying to like pick up and just, you know, be unprepared. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, all that cash can go like away quickly. So, yeah. So what are you thinking? My first thought is first of all, good job with the savings. I think that is super solid. Um, you said you don't have a job out there yet. You said you're going to DC? Yeah. Okay. So my first thought would be secure, you know, something stable out there as far as a job goes. Um, but I don't have like a ton of information. So like, where are you at now? And like, what kind of work do you do now? I work in public health. So I have like a master's degree and um, I work for the Department of Health in New York City. Mm. Yeah. So it's pretty... It's a secure job, like once you work for the city government, mm -hmm. but it's just like transferring over there. That's probably like a little bit hard to get. I think that app, like right now I make $75,000. And um, I don't know what it's gonna look like over there, honestly, so. So are you, are you worried that you may not make as much over there or the cost of living is gonna be different, stuff like that? Yeah, I think I have no idea how much I'll make over there. And I think the cost of living will probably be cheaper. I think New York is like the most expensive. Well, that's good. That's good. So if you can make the same over there or a little less to where it like evens out as far as the cost of living, it should be fine, basically. So that would be my first instinct. Uh, I would definitely keep investing, though, just so that money can keep compounding over time. That's that's really, really good. How old are you, if you don't mind me asking? 30. Okay, yeah, I see you, you're doing good. You're doing good. So that's the, that's the biggest thing I would recommend is just focusing on finding a job that's in your field right now that you can secure over there. And you're moving there uh, when? Next August or, yeah, next August. Oh, you got plenty of time. Yeah, it's not like January. <laughs> okay, okay. I was I was like, so like in a few months or, okay. Yeah, no, that, yeah like a, a year and three months, yeah. Yeah, so I guess, like, what are your biggest concerns about moving? I know it is a very, like, mind-boggling thing, because I've done it myself where I moved all the way across the country, you know, so I have a little bit of experience in that, but, like, what are, what are your bigger concerns? Yeah, this will be the first time I'm moving with just me and my baby, mm -hmm. and um, so, yeah, just being by myself out there, and I don't mm -hmm. really have people out there, I'm just trying to, like, go off on a whim. So, um, making sure he he's in a good school, I have a good job, I have an apartment, all those good stuff. So, okay. So, why? What made you think of DC? Because it's not too far from New York. It's like a four-hour drive, mm. and um, because there's a lot of government work out there, also, I'm hoping it's going to be like a little bit easier to find a job because I'm already in the government. So it's like the working environment plus the location. I don't want li to like live in the middle of nowhere, like the middle of America. I need, yeah. need to live in the city, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so. Okay. It looks like you really have everything together. It looks like the rest of it is just like mentally preparing for the rest of it. Like being, because being by yourself, look, I, I'm going to tell you something now. I, I, I went from Greensboro, North Carolina. That's where all my family is, right? I came all the way out to Nevada where I had nobody, right? That is scary, but I will say it was the best decision I've ever made in my life. That's, That's good. And, and I say that because when I worked in North Carolina, my schedule was all crazy. I was working like 72 to like 80 hours a week. So I didn't really get to see my family like that. So right now, even though I'm like 36 hours away from my family, I see them more now than I did then when I lived like an hour away from them. You know what I'm saying? I have a better quality of life. I have a way better work-life balance. I, I get paid a lot more now that I live out here. So there's a lot of perks to that stuff. And so for you, I would think of, I don't know. I mean, is your mind made up or is it still something you're kind of like up in the air about? It's pretty made up, but I'm like still flexible. Okay. So, yeah. yeah. I mean, the biggest thing I would think about for you, like if I were in your shoes, I would think about the cost of living. 
I don't know a ton about D.C., but I would look into like the school systems over there. Make sure. Uh, h- how old is your kid? Nine. Okay. He'll be in junior high school. Yeah, by the time I move out. So. Yeah, I would just I would look into that. I would look into the work and what salary you could expect. Have you been to uh, what do you BLS.gov? I think that's yeah, that's like the Bureau of Labor Statistics. I think I haven't been on it in a while, honestly. Yeah, I would just check that out. And then I would also just like browse Google and, and look at like your type of work, your type of position. They might have different verbiage there in D.C., but I would just look at the different types of um, positions in your field. And then I would look at like Glassdoor or like Monster or something that has like salaries up there. And I would just look at, OK, can, and then I would look at the average rent over there. I would even uh, make some phone calls out to the apartment complexes out there and just see what you could expect. And plus y'all, you already know how the security deposit and all that other stuff goes. So I will look into that. And really, I don't think there's a ton you would need to do outside of like, just that, like your savings are good. So if something happens, you'll be good for a while. Your investments are good. So it looks like, you know, you have a a very, you have a better case than most people, especially that's moving out Somewhere a lot of people don't have much of anything when they move to a different state, but you you're just you have a head start, so that's good. Yeah, thank you. I guess it's just like hearing that and believing that I'll be okay. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a lot of my work. So yeah, I yeah, I wrote all those things down. So um and, and also I would also do this. I would take it a step further. I would look at so yeah. I would also think about by next August. How much am I going to have saved by next August? How much am I going to have in investments? And then you'll have an even bigger picture of what you're looking at, because like you're probably going to be able to add a good amount to that by next August if you still want to add to that. And if you do, you'll be you'll be set. Yeah, that's the plan to continue to save and um, invest. So, yeah, that's what I'll do. You're doing good. That's what I'm talking about. That's (laughs) It's really refreshing to hear stuff like that. It really is. It's cool. That's good. All right. So can you tell me a little bit about, because I'm thinking about getting your monthly programs or you get like talk to people for a week mm-hmm. or hour a week. Mm-hmm. So can you um, tell me a little bit about that so I can like know which step to take? Yeah. So uh, which which one are we talking here? Because there's like there's like a one month one. There's like a three month one. Yeah. I was thinking about the three month one. Okay. Well, basically what I do is it's like this, except it's like an elongated version of it. I get to really know your situation and what your goals are. And then I work with you to improve it and reach whatever goal you want to. And then I record those too, but I actually send them to you. So you get to review the sessions and you, and you get to keep them forever. That sounds good. Yeah, it goes in depth and like it just depends on like whatever the situation is, like if it's getting out of debt, if it's saving more, if it's like learning about investing, like I'm pretty knowledgeable on all of those. So I would be going over that like in depth and I would have like worksheets or like exercises, things that you can actually take with you and keep forever. And you can actually utilize that for until the end of time if you want to. So that's pretty much the synopsis of it. Cool. So I just... um. To sign up, I just go back on your website and that's how I do that, right? Yep, you just click it. It should say like an apply button. It's not really apply. I just put it there because I thought it would look professional, but I might just change it to say enroll now or something like that. But yeah, you okay. just click on it. Um, you pay you pay whatever the price is. And then after that, you just select whatever date on the schedule that's available and you're good. Okay, cool. Is there like a payment plan or is it just a one time? It's uh, it's one time, but I can okay. have a payment plan though. Okay, cool. Well, All right, like, thank like, you. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, of course, of course. <laughs> I think this is really helpful. Thank you, Reggie. I'm, I'll be looking into those websites that you recommended. Absolutely. So thank you for your tips. I'll be back on your website, <laughs> and you'll probably see me. Okay, absolutely. Hey, I appreciate it. Thank okay. you so much. Take care. You too. Later.